Hi Diego, it's day 80, non-stop barbecue marathon, and we had a barbecue cook-off, the last qualifying round, and instead of me showing you some more of me doing bacon wraps and ribs, we're going to show you uh, the hogs pit master Steve, and he is going to show us how to use a Dutch oven to cook three different cobblers. It is really cool, and I'm happy to put this video up for you. And I did barbecue, but uh, I'll show some pictures up of my barbecuing and of the different vendors. And then we're going to go in depth about this Dutch oven cooking. I've never seen it done before. It was very simple and very tasty. Hope you all enjoy it. Thank you for watching, rating, commenting, and subscribing or sharing. And always favorite, thank you. Just any old cake mix. Chocolate cake, cola, cherries. Cherry. White, white cake. Use a uh, like a seven up, any kind of a lemon lime. And let's see what it is. And then uh, that's for peaches. And for a apple cake, use butter pecan cake. A root beer and a uh, apple. You gotta be joking. No, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump these in here. I'm gonna take my wooden spoon and spin it around five times. We're gonna put the lid on it. We're gonna put about a dozen briquettes underneath. We're gonna put about a dozen briquettes on top. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna stack another one. Do the same thing. I'm gonna stack another one. And in 20 minutes, we'll have a Go talk and start doing. We want to see this. <laughs> Isn't that right, Jimbo? We want to see him do that. The carbonation is what sets it off. So that's why it all works. The carbonation, how's that set it off? Not quite sure, but if you don't use a carbonated drink, it don't work. Really? Take your favorite. In this particular case, I'm using chocolate, so I'll put cherries in there. Chocolate and cola go good together. Take this. So if you wanted to try another cola, you could. Yeah, but this is cola works good with chocolate cakes and cherry. It just seems to naturally go together. See, I've been talking about the bomb. One, two, three, four, five. Don't stir it up too much. Take your next Dutch oven. And let's take a white cake mix. Grass in there. Just dump the white cake mix. And for the white cake mix, we'll use peaches. These are any pie filling that you just dump right into a pie. 
doesn't matter. Uh, cinnamon cake, Betty Crocker cinnamon cake works real good with the uh, apples too. Got the peaches in there, already pre-seasoned. And oh, because be it's uh, peaches, citrusy, that's why I use a citrus pop. Stir it around a couple of times. Nope, that's more than five. Well. It's not like five is a magic number. <laughs> five to seven. Less than, no more than ten. Well, you don't want to mix it up really good. Like you would. You want the cake and the carbonated pop to kind of intermingle yeah. and to blow up on you. That's got baking soda right in it. Yeah. yeah. It's got its baking soda right in it. What was the first one you made? First one chocolate cake. was chocolate cake, cherries, and Coca-Cola. Yes, sir. It and it literally only takes, once we get the charcoals white, and we put them on there, we put about a dozen, about a dozen, about a dozen, about a dozen on top. And it takes about 20 minutes, literally, and it's done. We'll check them. Sometimes it takes a little longer, sometimes a little less. So here, we just do this. Dutch oven cooking is a lot of fun. There's nothing you can't make in a Dutch oven. I've cooked biscuits. We've made pies, uh, cinnamon rolls. We've made uh, uh, stews, stews uh, souffles. I've taken uh, the Boy Scouts out, and at the last day of the uh, camping trip, we'll take everything we have left in the cooler, everything, literally, every egg, everything, put it in the Dutch ovens, and uh, I always save a cake mix, because you dump a cake mix, it's kind of like a biscuit, it blows up around. Okay, all I need now is some white, uh, after I clean up my mess, I'll get some of the white briquettes. Oh, got the pot. Did mix that one? Yeah. <laughs> I was just wondering. It off. I was going to ask you if it mixed it. Oh, it didn't mix? I put it no, it did. I had the pleasure of... Yeah, this was an extra, so now I got oh. to drink. Nice. Drink your root beer there. But you didn't mix it. you got to give it the magic five for five spins, right? Well, right in there, five, six, seven. <laughs> Like I said, you don't want to mix it up too much. You want it to be a little dusty. It works with carbonated drinks. If it's not carbonated, it doesn't work. Don't know why that is. It's the keys in the carbonation. Oh man. This is the way to cook out, isn't it? So can you put too many briquettes on? Yeah, it's just Mr. Skew. One briquette puts out about 2,000 BTUs. So if you add a lot too many briquettes, you get it going, you actually burn it. Too few briquettes, just kind of slow cooking. On average, it takes about 20 minutes or so to cook the cobbler. Uh, That's pretty much any baked good? What's that? That's pretty much any baked good? Pretty much. I'm going to cook it a little bit faster here. So. See, this is heating it, and the heat rises. So the heat's going to rise. This is going to get hot because it's hot on top, so it's going to stop the heat from rising and escaping. 
and that's going to cause the heat to rise in here, and it's going to come up. That's going to stop it. You know? So it's serving a bunch of different purposes. There's actually a whole society. Uh, we have a Washington State Dutch Oven Society here. A uh, whole group that just deals in Dutch Oven. Wow, I can feel the heat from here. The reason we use 12 is it's just... It's Weber. Yeah. Eleven hundred. Okay, that one's ready. That one's ready. You ever watch Mr. Easy Chef? Yeah. Yeah. No, I haven't really had time to watch anything on YouTube this year. That's the cola cherry. Yep. Chocolate goodness in the, in the, in the, in the lodge. Yes, sir. There it is, right on the verge of being done. Okay, so what I have to do is just get them off the heat here. We have to just scoop them into little containers, and they're all perfect. So announce it. That's apple pecan. Right now, we're going to be doing like that. Introduce a buddy of mine, and should be a buddy of yours. He's the uh, meat of stew, live crew. You would please do it. Thank you. 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 Craig said save him some. I want... <laughs> and Angie wants some too. Okay. So you you there you go. Is this for me? Yep, all three times. Wait, wait, you want one of those? Yeah.